What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Based off my last video, some of you guys know that I was in Japan for about eight days and it was probably the best time of my life ever, uh, fashion-wise and just like culture-wise and just growing as an individual. Japan was amazing to me. So I had a lot of fun. So Japan, I'll definitely be going back every year for an inspirational trip, 100%. 100% <laughs> so if you guys follow me throughout my trip via Instagram I was uploading like crazy and obviously I had the time of my life as some of you guys may, may have seen through my stories I was literally like messing around all day just uploading whatever so I hope you guys enjoyed the videos all my stories those of you who actually follow me I was in Japan collaborating with other creators uh, two of the top YouTube uh, fashion guys out there Genji and Hiroki which you will see a video coming out very soon my next video is uh, me interviewing them with a Japanese lookbook. So those guys are super sick. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that coming very soon. Obviously Japan is like a fashion mecca. That's the start of fashion. That's where everyone else gets their influence, takes it, makes it their own and develops a trend. So while out there, I was getting exposed to all types of fashion, which was super amazing and inspirational and did some really cool thrift shopping Thrifting in America is completely different from thrifting in Japan. Uh, Japan, you will find like really high-end Japanese fashion. You'll find very amazing Japanese denim. You'll find uh, very nice coats, like thick wools. Uh, you'll find really cool sweaters and just basically like really good. I think the biggest way to describe the thrifting in Japan is like a very military, militant kind of vibe. Everything you pick up is usually like very heavy duty and like meant to last. So. It's not like they sell garbage. I know here in America it's a little bit rude to say, but here they sell very cheap fast fashion brands like Forever 21, H&M. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a shopping haul, what I bought, whatever the haul videos is. I don't really do these, but I'm going to do it for you guys because I want to show you with you guys what I bought in Japan. So let's get right into it. Why don't we? The first thing I picked up were these striped overalls and Oshkosh. It's classic. And the reason why I picked these overalls up is because I wanted to so shut the f the reason why I picked up these overalls is because I saw how people were wearing it over there and I then I googled it and like kind of looked it up and see how people were styling in Japan and it just looked killer and these are I bought these at a vintage store for like 50 bucks and they are amazing and I can't wait to rock it it's just kind of like stepping out of my comfort zone stepping out of my element and creating a new type of fashion for myself and just trying to see how I could style these by not looking so goofy and like making and enhancing the, the overall uh, style and creating my own style with it. I am super stoked and can't wait to wear these overalls and style it for you guys. The second item that I picked up are these very heavy duty pants and they're yellow pants. They're, this is like a worker's pant uh, with pleats in the back. It's remind me of like a firefighter and I always wanted to be a firefighter and I was like yo I'm about to pick these up they're a little bit more straight legged they're a little bit wide but they look super sick and super clean and I've never seen these in a the state so I was like well I'll pick these up because as some of you guys may know I'm trying to start this new fashion trend called like yard wear and it's basically like oversized clothes kind of like in my last video that you could see right here where the clothes is kind of baggy oversized but looks really sharp and really clean so I want to maintain that minimal look but with the exaggerated size and not make it so like feminine and more make it make it a little bit more masculine in uh, how the, the the kind of like oversized wear is presented so that's why i got these because i want to create that kind of style for you guys which uh you guys will see a lot of you guys know that the big bomber trend is in right now everyone and their mother has a bomber and i don't like that I have so many bombers because it's just kind of like it's just a trendy thing to do and like everyone has a basic ass bomber either they have a blue one they have a black one they have the Kanye one green one they just have like it's just uh, oversaturated with bombers and I think it's getting a little bit boring so not to say that I don't like the bomber trend I figured if I found a sick bomber coat I'll buy it and I think I did and I think it says Carlos all over it it's this fancy printed silk oversized sleeves it's a two-sided bomber and then you have your blue on the inside with the gold little wheels and you have the red on the outside and I figured this is a statement right here. This purchase excited me so much because 
There's just so much you could do with it without being tacky. The guy like myself, I don't really wear crazy prints and patterns, so I'm super excited to kind of like explore what I could do with this jacket and still maintaining like a really nice dapper edge look, but with a little bit of a twist to it. Just a super sick and every time I put this on, it just makes me want to dance to Puno Mars and it just puts me in this other place where I'm just like elevated automatically to like a whole nother fashion sense and I love it. Now let's take it down a notch a little bit and share with you guys kind of like the normal pieces that I bought. But I really fell in love with this brand called Cos, C-O-S, and apparently it's like the sister brand of H&M, I think, or something like that, or I forgot what it is, don't mark my words. But my friend took me to the store and I absolutely fell in love with this t-shirt. Uh, you guys may have seen this in my last video. I filmed that video myself and I was just like messing around with the camera, like literally just trying to get inspiration uh, with shooting angles and I was like well you know what I looked at it and I was like I'm just gonna upload this video because when I edited it it looked pretty sick so that video just kind of came from the heart so you guys better love it you guys better like it you guys can see it right here this is the shirt I was wearing it's a cause and it has this pretty sick uh, neckline it's like a straight neckline across and instead of the seam starting on the shoulders it kind of starts on the collarbone area I'm not really sure what it's called but it's a, like pinkish salmon color tee which is super cool and I mean I love t-shirts and why not have one that's really different my fifth item I absolutely fell in love with uh, with this jersey the moment I saw this jersey I had I did a photo shoot with it with uh, Ken youth Tokyo shout out to Ken youth Tokyo actually he is uh, on my related video square thing somewhere on that side I'll link his stuff down below go follow him because he shot some sick videos of us and he shot some amazing footage and he's going to put together a sick video of Jordan and I. So uh, down below is his link, Youth Tokyo. I'll follow him on Instagram. Just show him love. Don't show me love. Show him love, okay? Because he's dope. This is like an original champion product. Uh, it's just a, a original throwback, you could tell. And it's super sick. It's worn out. It's pretty dope. And I figured it's a little elongated. It's an extra large. Um, it has a like pretty cool elbow patches here. So... It's just super cool. I felt like there was history behind this jersey. It's just kind of like a one of a kind. It's a one off piece, which is what I love. Now, my last and final item. This is kind of like the overalls where I, I was literally walking. We were at a thrift store, at a high end thrift store. And this dude walks in and he has a very long, like, jacket on, overcoat. And he had a leather lapel hanging out of this elongated overcoat and as you observe them a little bit closer it was actually a bathrobe and I was super struck by that fashion statement he made it seem so clean and so effortless and the way he was wearing it was kind of like it's not a fucking bathrobe you know like his like his demeanor and his like his presentation wasn't like I'm wearing a bathrobe I absolutely fell in love with that kind of with that aesthetic and I was like I have to pick up a fucking I have to pick up like a bathrobe before I leave I had to look for a beastie one too so I found this like navy, uh, it's like the bathrobe. It might just be like that one step over a bathrobe with like terry cloth. And this is kind of like maybe something that you put on if you're like lounging at your house. But nonetheless, it's like a bathrobe and it's super sick. Makes a major statement. It's a really solid color. Like I couldn't have found a better like overcoat slash bathrobe. This thing is legit. And when I wore it, I actually got like compliments on how I was styling it. So getting complimented by like the top Japanese fashion guys, I was like, yo, dude, legit, thank you so much. So, Roku and Jinji, thank you so much for complimenting my style. And, yeah, this thing is just, like, a piece of art. And I think I might have to start wearing bathrobes for sure. Pieces I picked up, I absolutely fell in love with. Like, I think every piece is a definitely, like, a main essential now to my wardrobe. And I could wear it with anything, uh, which is very exciting because it also kind of pushes me to kind of look further look deeper into my fashion sense and see how i could put together pieces revolving around these pieces that i bought so it's going to allow me to become more versatile and it's just going to allow me to push the boundaries and be more satisfied with my fashion sense and continue to develop my my growth <laughs> there you guys have it these are my pickups that i got in japan let me know which one you guys like the most and which one you guys think it's the most outrageous because i know you guys are gonna be like bleh, bleh, bleh. those are my new key items to my wardrobe so you guys will definitely see me rocking these all the time i hope you guys enjoyed this video um you guys will have a lookbook coming soon also the chapter product will be 
dropping very soon. For those of you waiting for my Vintage Artisan uh, collection to drop, that's going to be dropping on the 21st of November. So you guys stay tuned for that. You can follow my band on Instagram at Vintage underscore Artisan. I'll link everything down below. It's a new sick solid collection. I'll also be launching a woman's capsule collection. So for the girls out there who want to kind of have a his and hers with her boyfriend or her boy, whatever, I don't know what you have going on. You guys can shop the brand too. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Japan trip pickups. And I look forward to presenting the clothes to you in their elements and how I style them. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by this week. And don't forget to put style on everything. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys very soon. I'll shoot a video trying to impress. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm trying to impress upon them. The style is important and that they need to really develop their fashion sense and be, be them, be them, be them, you know, like that's what's important that, um, you know. I think the biggest thing, the biggest, the thing rolling, the biggest advice I could probably give you is like, stop looking at mannequins, stop looking at what, what, what the stores are offering you as like a validation of style, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't look at that. You don't need to look at that. Like, if you feel comfortable wearing a crazy, like, paisley shirt and get it you know what i'm saying you don't have to be obnoxious about it and wear it with like paisley pants either you know but it's just kind of like if you like it then wear it but like if you know if you have a feeling that the, the what you're wearing is a little bit loud then just tone it down with your other articles following it you know so don't be afraid to like wear it just make sure that it's not like offensive to you or to others <laughs> no just not not no not offensive just make sure that like you know, like if I wear, if like for example, if I was wearing, like when I was wearing the the bathrobe in Japan, like I wasn't trying to wear it with a bathrobe, wearing uh, with like a V-neck and fucking something that's gonna make it look like I'm stepping out of the shower. So I had to really like wear it with something that was gonna justify it and enhance and level up the bathrobe as as like a, a, a fashion item. So I was wearing it with my leather jacket and a vest uh, with a waistcoat and a button up a mandarin shirt so it's kind of like elevated everything and when you looked at it it wasn't like when you look at the outfit it wasn't like it it looks like he's like getting out the shower like that's that's his style like no it was it was like elevated so people were like that's respect so that's what's important like you don't have to worry about my my, my camera's running right now it's too far to even it's hot too if i move um yeah it's recording so yeah, I mean, that's all, that's it. Just don't be, don't, 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 like, if you buy it, pick it up, but don't buy the matching pants to go with it, because then you'll just look ridiculous. <sighs> Alright, well, I gotta finish this video, and I will, uh, call you in a little bit, because I gotta, let do the video. Party, mother, puppet.